Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Minecraft of all games. And, uh, yeah, the world that you once knew has gone through some dramatic changes in the past uh, four to five months. So, without further ado, I hope you're well, hope you're happy. That's an F-35C in the air, and that's a submarine. And I'm going to go give you the tour of the new, updated Zanch Kingdom. E yeah, let's get into it. Okay, well, and, uh, welcome back, I guess. Well, I hope you're well, hope you're happy, and without further ado, let's get into this, uh, official tour of this, uh, new-ish kingdom. So, this is the entrance, what was once the entrance, but, boys, there was a massive wall here going all the way around. I used to have walls, and it looked absolutely awful. So, we took the walls down, and I'm trying to build this into somewhat of an island nation. So, I've terraformed all the way down here, all the way down left here. Don't worry about what happened here. That was a great explosion. Uh, not caused by me at all. And too much TNT. But anyway, as you can see here, we now have like somewhat of a moet going all the way down and then left all the way round the actual island. Well, I just made it daytime, but this is where the moet ends. This is the work we've done so far on this uh, left-hand kind of trench separation, trying to turn this into a bloody island. Now, I've uh, messed up here a little bit, and the water level is absolutely disgusting, but don't worry, that will all be fixed in due time. So let's carry on with this tour. That's the exterior talked about. These are my F-35C lightnings, patrolling the skies, looking for uh, b bad guys. Yes, they, they took a... a a long time to build. Anyway, moving on, uh, we've built a nice fountain in the middle here. Very pretty, very nice, beautiful piece of creation. Yes, gorgeous. Moving on to the Tree of Life. The Tree of Life is now in the centre, complete with its own dock. Now, this dock will be getting torn down for a more f for a more futuristic design. Now, this was the old medieval boat that used to be here, because I used to have a medieval design, as you can see, the remnants of that. But we decided to change it to the year 2105, roughly like that. So I've got a few... I've got a submarine here, which uh, needs repairs. Moving on to this beautiful church and beautiful mosque over here. Now, this was built by Johnny, and it looks absolutely amazing. Very, very, very pretty at night, which I'm going to show you later on. That's a church that I built earlier, and copy and pasted another one. And this right here is Johnny's masterpiece. Well, and Finley's. It's a spiral, well, kind of spiral, skyscraper. And it looks absolutely fucking amazing. It's a copy and paste of the big boy one there. That's HQ. This is the secondary one because obviously we're a super city. And super cities have more than one skyscraper. Now actually let me go give you the official tour of the actual skyscraper. Or do I show you the military base first? No, that's, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's classified. I'll show you that later. Let's go. I'll go show you the HQ. Now obviously we need to install an, a big bad boy grand entrance here and fill out this line here and get it all nice and squared off and properly built. But once we do that we're planning on installing an elevator inside. Uh, thanks to Tyrese, my crazy inventor, that should take us all the way, well near enough to the top floor which is all the way over here. As you can see, the glass changes from blue stained glass all the way to clay stained glass up here because this is where the rich motherfuckers lie. This is where the VIPs live. The High Council, which is, uh, us. Yeah. Let me give you the tour. Oh, we've also equipped with our full-blown helipad and helicopter just in case we need to leave the area in a very wealthy manner. And that's uh, tower number three over there, also known as Purple Tower. Now, let me give you the official tour. Now, it's not properly kitted out in here, nor built. This is just a rough design. But, mind you, it does look quite pretty. And let me show you what outside looks like at night. Hang on, give me a second. Like, as you can see here, let's look over here. This is it at daytime, looking through the glass. You know, it's very pretty. You can see all around you, all angles. Very, very, very nice. Now then. Midnight! Oh my god! It looks even prettier. Now, that's tower number three at the background, also known as huh, Purple Tower. Now, let's have a look at what the main city looks like at night. Oh my god, it's a very, very nice place to be. Very welcoming. You can see the mosque in the distance over there. Where is it? It, look, it looks absolutely beautiful. The planes, you can see tower number two over there. Spiral gold structure. But yeah, this is what Johnny created and Finley, the spiral uh, skyscraper. And I think it looks absolutely amazing and it complements the scenery very, very, very well. Now, it's not even nearly done yet because we need to kit out every single floor needs to be finished, and we're going to go two floors down for each level, and most likely put an elevator in it, but just, well, that's Finley's Coliseum, by the way, if you didn't know, very nice, but anyway, this is it, 
I think it, it's starting to look very, very nice. As you can see, this is the theme. It's an island-bound nation, so that trench goes up there, left, round, and this is the natural waterway here, stretching all the way around. So it's a small little island, well, kind of small, but super city. And it's not even nearly done this. It's just kind of not even about 5% of the land even filled in, to be honest. There's a lot more creations we need to do and a lot more structures. But that's pretty much the tour of the top level. Now then, boys, this is my fleet of uh, Typhoon-class nuclear submarines with a bad boy one there, which I haven't named yet. What? Uh, let me know in the comments what a, a big boy submarine is called in, in real life, and we will name this one. This is my creation. But this is the Zanch fleet of uh, nuclear-powered submarines. Just in case the invaders attack, we are, have a high military budget and ready to rock. Now, this is going to be the runway. Oh, yeah, that's me, apparently. Apparently, this looks like me. Yeah, yeah, all right. Now, this is my runway, where the F-35Cs take off from. Ah, not nearly finished yet, but you see the vision. F-35Cs take it off there, beautiful, and also can land, but it's not even nearly done yet. But let me show you the... Actually, let's make this daytime. I can't even see anything. Right, okay. Let me show you the vision. We're going to stretch it all the way down here. It's going to be black concrete all the way down, all the way down, which needs to replace all the way here. Keep stretching down here all the way. I'm going to go a little bit further than this block. Probably all the way to here. Then when we're here, we're going to take a left stretch that way. Take a right stretch that way. And we're obviously going to put hangar 1, hangar 2, hangar 3, hangar 4, hangar 5 there. So the whole circumference will be coming down, right, around, and left. So if you can see the vision, what I'm trying to explain to you, if you can picturize it, it's going to look very, very, very nice once it's completed. But obviously, the whole thing over here, this whole land, needs terraforming and this just to make the runway a little bit wider. So I can add hangar 1, hangar 2, hangar 3, 4, and 5. But that's pretty much where the military base is going to be, this whole area. You know, nuclear power reactors and uh, other nice inventions that will uh, come along. Actually, with this runway, we might have to go from the middle block here, stretch it left, Stretch it right, because runways in real life have many, many different, uh, how would you say, landing strips. But yeah, I think the world's starting to come along quite nicely now. Submarine fleet's in stock. You don't need to worry about what that structure is. We will uh, get to that. That is strictly off limits for now. And I think it's time for that tour. So, boys, now it's time to give you the tour of what happens uh, <clears throat> in the worst case scenario. If the city gets attacked... So, yeah, uh, let's get on with it. Now, picture the scene, boys. We're getting invaded, we're getting attacked, and I uh, I say, boys, we're about to die. Get to the nuclear launch bunker and uh, launch the missiles. Now, we're going to drop down here. Where is it? Oh, hang on. We're going to drop down there. I'm going to go down there, but I somehow need to connect this underground tunnel. Oh, hang on. I somehow need to connect this underground tunnel with HQ there. Now, I think I have to do it where it's going to have to go a bit further down. We'll have to tunnel away outwards and then go right and then up. But we'll figure that out later. So this is the secret nuclear launch underground bunker starting area. We've got a train track down there that, leaves to, that leads to uh, a very, very far place away. But that's not important right now. What is important right now is we're getting, we're getting invaded. We're getting intact. We're getting the minecart, boys. And we jet set away. Well, my brothers, we're approaching Bunker 1. Bunker 1, as you can see here. Beautiful amount of... Mi oh, there's no missiles here. Why is there no missiles here? Oh, I haven't spawned any in. Oh, bloody hell. Well, boys, there's supposed to be missiles here, and for some reason the, the bay doors are open, so that's not good. Let's just uh, do this real quick. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Watch this. Oh, yes! Now the government spies will not be able to <laughs> see my uh, <clears throat> missiles. Anyway, this leads you down here, all the way down... Oh, and actually... There's a railway up there, which is uh, an hour long, which I'll show you later. But anyway, carrying on, this will take you now to Bay 2, second missile silo. And the elevator should work, but it doesn't, so let's pretend it does. Ding, 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 floor 2. There we go, beautiful. And then there'll be a rail cart here, jumping to Bay Area 2, boys. The second load of nuclear missiles. Now, as you can see, I've been very, very bored at home and uh, been, uh, yeah... Same recurring theme, elevator should work, but it doesn't, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to go down this hole here. We can't go through there yet, I've got to make you swear an oath. But before we get there, let me take you to Bay 2. Now this is Bay 2, boys. Where the beautiful... Mi Why is this bay door open as well? Uh, boys, we've got an accidental launch in Bay Area 2. Uh, mm, I did not mean to initiate the launch sequence, but you know, I'll give you the show. <laughs> Invaders, come get me. 
Come get me, you're about to get equalised by 50,000 pounds of, uh, goo. We're gonna let that missile, uh, launch. We're doing a test, test rocket today, so... God's, God's grace, I'll see you later. Anyway, moving on, boys. Let's go to Bay Area 3. Okay, boys, now before we continue, I need you to swear an oath. Do you promise not to tell anybody what you see here today? Shake your head. Okay, well, very well. Let's go show you, let's go show you the demon. Oh, uh, 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 are ready, boys? Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, we have arrived. Uh, now, oh, oh, you did not see nothing. I have not finished explaining what was going on anyway. What I was thinking of adding is some very, very nice futuristic looking doors here. And it will complement the scenery very well. Now, thank you to Johnny for building this beautiful staircase. But anyway, boys, can I present to you? Can I present to you the big boy? The two trillion dollars! The Titan B nuclear missile. Now, this thing would wipe anyone off the face of the Earth. And we've got it installed right here. Now, this is the worst case scenario, but, you know, it's better to plan ahead than not plan ahead at all, eh? You know what I mean? So, let's open up the bay doors and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, oh what a beauty. What a beautiful missile. But, yeah, that is there. Just, you know, worst case scenario. We've got a nuclear missile just waiting to... To fly, but anyway, you can't look at that for too long because it is heavily, heavily classified. But let's move on with the official tour of the nuclear bunker. Now, we're getting a rail cart here, and we fly up here, boys, to launch area... What is this? One, two, three... To Bay Area 4. I will see you at Bay Area 4. Making my way downtown in my nuclear launch bunker. Going fast, and I don't know. da 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 da, -da. Nearly destroyed a light. da 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 da, -da. Didn't destroy that one. Ah, we have arrived here, and I haven't finished the railway yet, so that's very embarrassing. But this is Bay Area 4, boys, and we are strategically located just outside of the city realms, I believe. Let's have a look. Oh, look where we are, boys. Just in case any invaders try to come from that way and fire their missiles, we've got a secret underground nuclear launch facility <laughs> right here, hidden in plain sight. <laughs> ah, yes, out of Bay Area 4, we come to a Tyrese elevator. That doesn't work for some reason. <clears throat> Tyrese, I need you to come fix these elevators. But in all best case scenario, boys, you'd come up here and you'd exit here, jump onto a minecart, and I will see you at Bay Area... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. See you at Bay Area 5, boys. What the bloody hell just happened there? Like I've always said, boys, you can never have enough nuclear launch bunkers. You never know who might attack you. You know what I mean? You might as well be prepared. Jesus Christ, I'm looking kind of drippy today. Look at the TNT block. Sheesh! Am I there yet? Nope. Oh, we're only halfway there. Oh! Need to get to the big boy. Oh, a ravine. Very nice. Ah. Brothers and sisters, may I bring to you the crown jewel in this collection. The creme de la creme! The beautiful two tr 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 quadrillion dollar missiles. Now, obviously, <laughs> Tyrese Elevator recurring theme. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest bombs in our collection. The biggest missiles to ever grace Minecraft existence. Can I show you the, the Zant Bomber 3? Oh, beautiful. Not one, but two nuclear missiles. Let me open up the silo doors. Oh, bloody hell, what's going on here? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, not one, but two nuclear launch missiles. Now, these are the crown jewels in our collection, and this completes our official world tour. As you can see, we are at the submarine base. There's the F-35C about to take off. There's me and some Typhoon-class destroyers. Oh, and F-35 there. So this is where we are. This is where the uh, secret underground uh, two quadrillion dollar uh, missiles lie. And I need to make this into a mountain so it doesn't look, how would you say, in your face. But anyway, yes. And with this said, I think this concludes today's tour. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like. Otherwise, I will send both of these at your house and destroy your street. But not only your street... Probably um, a lot more than that. Anyway, I'm off. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any ideas of what I should add to this world, and if you'd like to come on and come build something for me, then by always, send me a gamer tag down below, and we will get this place looking absolutely fantastic. But anyway, boys, girls, have a beautiful rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah.